first Noel the angel did say was to certain portion. Hi everyone and welcome to Bum B. Today I am participating in a challenge hosted by yours truly and my sissy poo Tammy Roberts. The name of this collaboration is Christmas Customs and Tradition Dessert Challenge. Thank you for all those that are watching and thank you for all those that are participating. So don't forget to check out the playlist that will have a link below and check out my friend Tammy's channel. Her channel will also be linked below and at the end of this video you can just click on her picture. So let's get started with my recipe today. Our custom dessert for every Christmas is arroz con leche, which is rice pudding Cuban style. So let me show you how I make it and all the things that you will need to make it if you like to make it at home. Okay, so let's get started. Items needed for the Cuban arroz con leche. You will need cinnamon sticks. You will need long or short grain rice, whole milk of your choice, one can of evaporated milk, and one can of condensed milk, ground cinnamon, and this is going to be the topping, and then fresh lemon zest. Okay? You're also going to need sugar and salt. Okay, so I'm going to start with six cups of water and I'm going to start uh, warming that up and I'm going to do some some cinnamon sticks and some lemon zest and I'm going to start that as I wash my rice. The next step, take two cups of rice and I have them in this dish and I'm going to wash my rice really good because I want to get rid of the starch and make it as least starchy as possible. Okay, after washing my rice really well, I drain it and I'm going to pour it in this boiling water and I have cinnamon sticks in there with lemon zest. And I'm just going to keep stirring and all I want is the rice to get soft. I don't really want it to cook or stick to the bottom. Okay, so I'm boiling my rice with my lemon zest and also my cinnamon sticks. And I'm just going to keep uh, mixing it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And I want to make sure the rice is soft before I remove it and then go to the second steps of the three different milks we're going to be adding. You will see that as the rice softens, the water gets consumed by the rice. So this process takes about 10 to 12 minutes or so. So as you can see it is softening and the water is consuming. So now in a couple of minutes what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the lemon zest and the cinnamon sticks and then I'm going to drain this rice. We're going to add our three different milks. Okay, now that I've removed the lemon zest, the cinnamon sticks, and I drain my rice, I'm going to add one cup of regular milk. And I missed that one right there. And then one can of condensed milk. And one can of evaporated milk. We're going to cook this and we're going to stir constantly because we want to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and this will be thickening up as it cooks. Ok, 
Okay, then I'm going to add one quarter teaspoon of salt. I've already mixed in my condensed milk, my evaporated milk, and also my cow's milk. Okay, and I'm just going to have it just I'm just making sure that I keep stirring and I do um, have it on medium. So I, we don't want the, the rice to stick to the bottom. And as this cooks, it should get really creamy. And then the sugar is the last thing we are going to add because we don't want it to caramelize. As you can see, the arroz con leche is thickening, so we're going to cook it in the three milks as it thickens for about 40 to 45 minutes. You need to make sure you keep stirring and stirring because you want to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. My dad is so excited for arroz con leche. So I made a pretty big batch here so we can have for a couple of days and also for our Christmas party which uh, this day is going to fall on Sunday uh, the 23rd. That's what we will be doing the party. So as you can see this is getting thicker and thicker so I'm going to go ahead and add half a cup of sugar. And then I'm going to keep stirring. So this is looking beautifully, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them to these dishes here, to my vintage dishes. And then this is going to be served cold. I'm going to do this dish here. Gorgeous. And then we're going to do this dish here. And then, of course, some right now to enjoy. Because I like to eat it hot. Some people like to eat it cold. Okay, then we're just going to sprinkle some cinnamon up on top, just like so. Well, here you have it, you guys. Traditional Cuban arroz con leche that we eat every single Navidad. It is a Cuban tradition. I'll have the recipe linked below. I also want to thank all the who participated in this collaboration today. Thank you so much. And thank you to my host, Tammy Roberts, for hosting this collaboration with me. Okay, guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to all. And we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. The first Noel the angel did say Was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay In fields where they lay keeping their sheep On a cold winter's night that was so